everybody, Justin Jacobson from Utah Air Guns, and today I want to talk to you about this new gun. So this is the FX Pantera Hunter Compact. Now, there's several different configurations. I want to go over what I've done, why I've got this on here, and explain you know, why I set it up that way. Obviously, there's other ways to set it up. You can see right here. But on mine specifically, let me explain why I set it up this way and why I really like this setup. Um, let's dive in. Ah, that was the coolest thing ever. So as you can see, I have the bottle up front. Uh, the, the compact bottle, why? Because I still wanted this to be compact, light. I want to be this light and as nimble as I could be with this thing. Um, Obviously, I don't have the rail, so I lose the capability of a bipod. That's okay, because this isn't what that gun is for. This is my truck gun. This is my little hunting gun that uh, I'm going to be hitting the dairies with and, and that sort of thing. Um, so I don't plan on shooting off a bipod. I'm going to be shooting off a game changer out the window, probably, or up the, out of the side-by-side, -side, but that's what this is for. The reason I have the bottle up front is because I wanted this option. I wanted to be able to fold it down so it's as small as I can get it when I'm when I'm just cruising with it it's as small as I can make it so I got that on there I got the folding adapter also with the uh, adjustable length of pull so you know any if I want just you know to have it super short I great I can if I want to adjust it out whatever it's what it's just all depends on the application of where you're shooting how you're shooting it if you need a longer length of pull if you don't but I like having that option but I really like having that thing fold in half. Makes it really handy. So I've also got the Impulse Air Moderator on there. It makes it super quiet, um, especially with compact rifles. It is nice to have a good uh, moderator because uh, typically they do bark a little bit sometimes, especially if they're making any kind of power. This, this little guy's making fantastic power still. I'm, I'm shooting uh, 18 grain pellets out of it at 880 feet per second. So it shoots like a long gun. And um, so I want it to still be quiet like a long gun though. So we put that on there. There's other options, you know, the, the Donny FLs obviously are, are extremely quiet. This is just what I put on because I like the way it matched up to the barrel. So that's that. I have the uh, Element Hyper 7. Uh, this was uh, given to me early to, to uh, really go through, put it through its, put it through the, uh, the works, if you will, um, and see how I liked it. Um, we'll dive into that in another video uh explaining the scope so that's that's my setup and this is this is how i have it so uh again 22 caliber i'm shooting 18 grain uh pellets at 880 feet per second that's a really magical speed for me that i really like shooting pellets at personal preference it doesn't mean uh every gun you shoot shoot at 880 with pellets and it's gonna be magic that's just uh, a really i've had great luck with that so that's why i have it set up that way so this is my setup. This is not the setup though. Um, in my opinion, it's the setup, but for you, it's not the setup. That's a setup that I chose to do today, but let me explain. So Utah Air Guns, we can do all kinds of configurations. So we have the rails, we have, we have the rear, the rear bottles, the, all the adapters that you'd like to do, whatever buttstock you'd like, or if you want the bottle in the back, however you want to do it, we can configure this gun however you like it. So if you want the front row with a bigger bottle, all that, no problem. We can do that. I think we're the only uh, reseller in the United States that can actually build whatever you want because we stock every part and lots of it. So um, that's a great, great option. If, if you want a different configuration, great. This is just simply my selection and why I did it. I wanted to share that with you. But um, let's go over a few topics on the gun though. Uh, as you can see, so this is a 300 millimeter barrel. So in 177, 22 caliber, that's what you're gonna get is a 300 millimeter barrel. Now, if you wanna go up to a bigger caliber and still have a small gun, you can go that way. Uh, that barrel, 25 cal say, is gonna be a 380 millimeter barrel. So 80 millimeters longer than the 177 or the 22. Now, if you wanna go to the big boy and go 30 caliber, it's gonna be a little bit longer. It's gonna be 395 millimeters. So not a huge difference in length, obviously. It'll still obviously be short, compact, but it's gonna be great. And it's still got that power. That's what I wanna talk about with this gun. Power, power, power. Power in short platforms is amazing. It's very hard to do to get that kind of power out of a short, compact rifle um, with those kind of barrel lengths. So this is one of those that can do that. 
fully adjustable, just like all the other FX guns that you see. You know, we can adjust rug pressure, hammer pressure, um, fully adjustable trigger systems, all of that stuff. So you, you've got the, all those adjustments at, at the tip of your fingers. Um, and they're very simple to do. You've got a power wheel, you've got a micro power wheel on here and very simple to adjust. Your gauges are in perfect view. They're off to the side at an angle so you can see your reg pressure and bottle pressure all the time. So you know you're never gonna dip below the reg pressure. That's a great feature to have that right, right there in your peripheral view all the time and see what you got going on. But you never miss that shot because you got too low on air. Um, that happens, trust me. Some things, let me explain what I really enjoy about this rifle. One is obviously the power in a small package. That's a phenomenal uh, advantage to have is, is being able to have that power in a short gun. Two is it is so modular. It's so customizable. It's so easy to change the entire look function of this gun. It's simple. You request what you want it to look like, how you want it set up. Maybe you request it how you want it tuned. We can do that right here in house. Knock it out. I always recommend pellets with short guns like this. It can be tuned for light slugs. I personally don't do that in mine, but it can be. But the biggest thing is you can make it quiet, powerful, accurate, all of that stuff. You never sacrifice just because it's a short gun. Most of the times you get a really short gun like this. If you want power, it's gonna be in a bullpup. Well, that's not the case with this one. This still feels like a really short carbine rifle. It doesn't feel like a bullpup. Um, so you don't have that kind of uncomfortable, really tall platform like you would normally, you know, that's the disadvantage of bullpups. This guy still feels like a really comfortable carbine rifle. So that's what I really like about this. So with this, with this setup, my shot count is two to three magazines. I haven't checked it that close, but I can tell you from shooting this gun, it's gonna be around that, two to three magazines without having to fall off the regulator or to fill the air tank. Um, that's with this little bottle. Now, if I turn this down even to shooting, let's say 840 feet per second, I'm probably gonna double that shot count. That's how that works. Um, but if I need more than that, if I need more than uh, what I'm getting at this current setup, I can always keep that same velocity can add a bottle on the back or I can add a bigger bottle up front. That's the beauty of this thing. It's so modular. We can do whatever we want with it. Let's go see how accurate it is. I'm very confident that it's insanely accurate. Well, I'm just gonna vary the details, but I've been shooting it for a while, so I know it's accurate. So let's go play with this, but I want you guys to see how accurate it is and see why I love this gun. Let's go. We'll go in the range first and then maybe we'll get out in the field, show you what it can do. Here we go. We're gonna check four different pellets. We've got the JTS 18.1 grain. We've got the JSB 18.1 grain. We've also got the H&N Barracuda 18 grain. And we also have the FX in the 16 grain. So we're gonna try those real quick. We'll try all four of them. We'll shoot a little group with each one. I've got them labeled here and uh, we'll see how they do. Let's see which one sh this gun likes best and we'll go from there. Okay. okay, so here's our results. We've got five shots on each one of those. Um, I will say this in defense of the ones on the lower page, they are below the cardboard. So they do give a little bit, so they may have torn just a little bit because of that. So not quite as clean of a hole, but as you can see, they all shot really well. Looks like on that particular run, probably the JSB 18 grains were the tightest. Maybe the JT, they were really close, but um, they all shot really good. So one thing to note in, in defense of this group a little bit is this particular reticle, it's a digital reticle and it's quite large in the center. It's not really made for this type of shooting, you know, just punching paper. So it kind of covers up the whole target, the whole center of the target plus a little bit. So hard to get the exact aim point, but that doesn't matter. Here we're just, uh, if we really wanted to dive into accuracy, we would switch to a, you know, something with a finer reticle. Uh, one last thing I wanna note is how easy and accurate this thing can be if we just turn it down to a, a lower speed. 
um, with just the change of a power wheel. I want to do that just for a fun experiment here real quick. Let's do that. When you do make power adjustments, guys, just make sure you shoot three or four um, before you really want to start tracking anything. As you saw, the velocity kind of jumped around a little bit. When you first adjust power, you're going to get that for just the first few shots until it adapts to that, that uh, new spring tension. But as you can see, it, it leveled right out after I shot a few shots. So didn't change point of impact hardly at all. Looks like it pushed off to the left just a touch. But that's how simple it is to turn down. I just went four clicks. It turned down to 850-ish. Um, you know what? Let's do one more just for the heck of it. Let's go down five more. Just I'm not doing this for any particular reason, just to see. So one, two, three, four, five. Let's see what that gets us and see if it changes accuracy at all. Let's go. Okay, so we changed it drastically. We're clear down to, you know, 720, 730 feet per second. And there you have it. As you can see, obviously shooting that much slower, it changed the point of impact down, but still kept a nice tight group. That just goes to show you how easy it can be to make it a, a really backyard friendly rifle, even shooting the same ammunition. It's a quick, you know, a few adjustments of the hammer wheel and uh, you can be shooting extremely soft backyard quiet uh, and still be extremely accurate and not even really change point of impact a whole lot. You can adjust for that really easy. So now that you've seen how versatile it is, how accurate it is, let's go out. We'll take it outside. I got my hat on now. We're ready to go. Let's go do it. Let's see what we can get. So we're up here in the mountains. We decided to go for a little drive this morning. Beats the hell out of being in the office. We're in the mountains. Hey, uh, can I get you to hold for just one moment, please? I have not seen that yet. Let me go. Mm -hmm. And we are up here at the Pantera Hunter Compact, but uh, having a good time with it. Let's go see if we can't get some squirrels, all right? Let's do this. There he is. You on him? Oh, he gone. He gone. I see lots of blood. Oh, there he is. But he's down in the pipe. Yeah! Got him. Got him. <laughs> yeah, baby. Let's give it a little recap. What is this gun good for? All things shooting. It's a great little gun. We've proved that it can shoot 90 yards, no problem, shoot little teeny targets. Uh, it can also be a very compact, light, versatile, walk around, fold it up, hunting gun, right? So we topped it with the uh, new Element uh, Hyper 7, which is a very, very unique uh, scope that you can run electronically. You can sync your ballistic data to it as well. Really cool uh, function, but uh, it was fun to play with. All in all, fantastic little hunting gun. Compact, light, you could get out and walk the woods with it. You can shoot from the truck with it. You can do just about whatever you want with it. It's a fantastic little platform. It's got all the power you need for a little short compact gun, but uh, it's got all the, the, the features and the, the size for doing everything else. So there you go. That's a wrap up. We gotta deal with the cows and they keep mooing while I'm trying to talk and uh, they can, they can moo themselves. Let's go.